Hemangiomas account for approximately 18% of intracranial tumours, affecting females more frequently than males with a ratio of approximately 2 to 1. They are usually benign and slow-growing and arise from the meningothelial cells of the arachnoid. Meningiomas can arise anywhere in the meninges affecting the external surface of the brain. They can also occur on the falx, sphenoid wings, spinal dura, foramen magnum and within the ventricular system. Clinically, meningiomas are uncommon in children and usually present in the 5th and 6th decades and there is an increased incidence in premenopausal women and progesterone receptors may be present. Meningiomas are usually solitary but they may be multiple in neurofibromatosis. Here is a CT scan revealing a massive meningioma at the posterior aspect of the cranium. And you can see how well demarcated the meningioma is. Presentation of meningiomas is varied. They may present as vague non-localizing neurological symptoms or focal neurological signs and symptoms of raised intracranial pressure. Grossly, the tumours are solid and well demarcated with a globular or lobulated shape. They have a thin capsule and may compress or erode adjacent structures, and overlying bone may become thickened. And this is a gross image of the undersurface of the brain. You can see the cerebellum at the left side of the picture, and towards the middle of the picture, just by the right optic nerve is a meningioma. And the photograph shows how well demarcated the tumour is and also the solid cut surface. Histologically, typical benign meningiomas are composed of sheets of fusiform cells that may have solid and whorled patterns and somoma bodies are frequently present. There are, however, many subtypes of meningiomas, ranging from those without any atypia to anaplastic. Very briefly, meningiomas are graded in the current WHO system from 1 to 3. 78 to 81% are grade 1, with less than 4 mitotic figures per 10 high power fields. WHO grade 2 accounts for around 15 to 29 percent of meningiomas. These are atypical meningiomas with 4 to 19 mitotic figures per 10 high power fields. And the WHO grade 3 meningiomas account for 1 to 4 percent of meningiomas. And these are the anaplastic meningiomas with 20 or more mitotic figures per 10 high power fields. This is a low power view of a grade 1 meningioma showing the solid sheets of fusiform cells with a rather whorled pattern. Here is a whorled area on a higher power view. Here you can see how well demarcated the meningioma is. Scattered amongst the bland fusiform cells of this meningioma are these purple spherical structures and these are somoma bodies. And here is a high power view of a somoma body. And you can make out its laminated structure. 